Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we pour and stamp a small concrete patio floor. So if you guys are new here, if this is your first time watching me, my name's Mike Day. My channel's all about concrete stuff, all about flat work. So we pour and stamp a lot of floors, we do slabs, we do uh, concrete pool decks, patios, walkways. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification. I come out with a couple videos a week that's all about concrete. So what we're doing, this is about a 20 foot by 16 foot concrete patio. It's going to be like a big screened in porch. And this is going to be a post and beam house. If you guys are wondering what those big metal strips are sticking out of the concrete wall. Those are just to help fasten the posts to the foundation. So all I was hired to do here was just pour and finish. So pour and stamp this concrete patio slab. The GC... The general contractor just called me up and said, hey, it's ready to go. Just come pour it and stamp it. So that's all we were hired to do here today. And we're using a 4,000 3 a P-Stone mix, because we're stamping it for concrete with fiber mesh reinforcement. I also put some, some darker gray color in the concrete too. So when the concrete dries, it won't dry like uh, whitish or really light gray, kind of like those foundation walls are. It'll stay darker. And we're going to use an Ashler Slate stamp today for the pattern. So you'll get to see just how we, how we go about that process. And if you guys want more, you know, if you want more training, more in-depth learning about how to pour concrete, how to finish concrete, how to stamp it, all the same things that I do, you know, wait till the end of the video. I got, I got a, a, a private membership where you guys can join where I go more in depth with these trainings. If you guys wanna learn how to do this, if you wanna learn how to start your own business, if you need a coach, if you need a mentor, then uh, I've got a link down in the description so you can join my private membership, The Concrete Underground, and be part of that for a little bit higher learning on this concrete stuff. So we got the, the concrete poured and both loaded, and we let it dry, dry up a little bit, so it's, it's firmed up here. And now what Darren's doing is he's kind of mag floating the surface with this funny float. And the reason we do that before we stamp is, you know, we want to get out any bull float lines, any little imperfections. We want to just flatten the surface a little bit more than what it was when it was bull floated. And we're also bringing up a little bit of cream, a little bit of paste on the surface. And that's what we like to stamp. So we're just kind of fine tuning the surface a little bit before we actually start doing the stamping process. Because once you start stamping, once you start stamping, you know, you put that powdered release agent on it, there's no mag, mag in the surface after that. You can't mag float that powdered release in. So you want to get it right where you want it just before you start stamping. That funny float, that thing works really good. You can see how Darren can reach all the way out across like a 16 foot wide slab like this and get it magged with, without having to get on the concrete. That's a big bonus. You know, if we didn't have that, then we'd have to get on it with our, our metal skids and kind of float across the surface on the skids and mag it out by hand. I have that tool in the description down below, guys, too, if you want to check that out. So we got it all magged and now what Eric's doing is he's applying some of the powdered release agent. We're using a charcoal powdered release and he's kind of just flicking it on there with a brush. And Darren and Luke are getting that first stamp set. You know, setting that first one is usually important. Darren's now stepping into some, some flat soled shoes that we use for stamping so we don't leave any heel marks through the, through the stamps. And again, all that stuff will be down in the description, guys, if you want to check it out. Setting that first stamp is the key because all the other ones are going to lock into it. You can see the notch these stamps have. So they all lock into that notch. They all go a certain way. Once you start stamping with the stamp set down in one direction, then all the other ones are going to go the same direction. It's a little bit windy out today, so that's kind of blowing the, the release powder. At least it's blowing it away from the guys. You can see how they're working their way across the slab 
the 16 foot way and then they're going to work their way once they get all the way across then they'll work their way down towards the other end the key to the key to stamping you know is really learning the timing and I've got a bunch of videos about timing the concrete when to start finishing I'll have uh, I'll have them pop up here and also at the end of the video so you can check out the timing of the concrete that's probably one of the most important important things to learn when it comes to finishing concrete so Luke's using a little tamper today as well as just using the weight the weight from their bodies to put the the impression into the concrete just lightly tamping the stamps nice and evenly all the way around the outside edges and then usually in the middle and then we can pick one up and reset it back down usually there's about 11 total stamps in a set you know you can buy a set of these they're pretty expensive but there's there's all kinds of different places you can buy these these stamps are from uh, Butterfield colors but is all everybody makes an Ashler slate stamp you know whether it's the Marshalltown ones the uh, Globe Marble uh, Proline they all have Ashler slate this is one of the more popular patterns that we do there you can see they've worked their way across the slab good thing about this slab there's not much in their way today for for things they have to go around you know they can pretty much just lay down the stamps tamp them pick them up and reset them and go it helps having you know three guys like this makes it really really mint because one guy as you can see Eric's kinda kinda relocating the stamps getting more out of the truck if we need them and then you got one guy that's kinda doing the tamper which is Luke and then the other guys kinda picking them up and resetting them so that makes that makes things go really fast you can definitely do it with two I've even done this with with myself just just one person but that's a lot of work even for something this small I definitely wouldn't recommend that especially if you're just starting out two guys is really 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 good and three is ideal we're using again we're using that charcoal release colored powder and we'll come back you know I've got if you want to really learn more about stamping you know down in the description below I've got my stamp concrete course that teaches you all you need to know there's there's a lot more to this than what you think but in that stamp course you know I, I've got it all broken down into steps so you can learn from start to finish how to stamp concrete just like we're doing but this is just one stage of it one step of it right here is the actual day you do the stamps you know that you gotta come back you gotta clean it and wash it Saw in your expansion joints if you're going to saw cut then you got to come back and do your sealer so all those steps what I how I do it what I use for product is all down in that stamp concrete course guys you can see how they're picking those stamps up and setting them back down all in the same direction I mean that's that's the key to doing this right and making it look good and then they're working their way from one side to the other so kind of north to south or east to west whichever direction you want to call it so if guys if you guys are getting any value out of this video you know please go down there and smash that like button also leave me a comment have have you ever stamped concrete before if not if you're thinking about stamping something let me know what you're thinking about stamping down in the comments is it a patio is it a walkway is it a pool deck let me know what you're thinking of stamping also where are you guys from you know what part of the country or if you're from another country where are you guys from it's always cool to know where you're from you know and if if you want to do some stamping or not let me know down there in the comments you can see this the process you know from start to finish on this a 20 foot by 16 foot you know it took these three guys approximately about 30 to 40 minutes to do this process so it's you know it's not like it's really fast but you only have a certain amount of time to do it I mean that concrete is still drying it's still firming up it's curing so you got to get from one end to the other 
in a, in a limited amount of time. So you really need to know what you're doing. So my training coming up, you know, at the end of the video here, I'll show you for the concrete underground is, is I have all kinds of training tutorials in the concrete underground for you guys to learn from. There's training on pouring floors and slabs and setting them up and all the forming and resurfacing concrete, repairing concrete, you know, all the stamp concrete stuff is in there. Um, estimating, doing pricing, how to run a business. So all that stuff is in there and the, you know the bonus part is you get access to me through the forum so you can ask questions and I'll I'll answer your questions to help you in any possible way I can. That's what the concrete underground is all about. It's about helping, learning, teaching, achieving. You know, me is f using my knowledge and my experience to help you guys, you know, better yours. So you can either take that and use it as a business and make money with it or if you just have a project you need to get done here it is right here the concrete underground so the link is down in the description below guys you can check it out uh, it's my private monthly membership and i'll be in there helping you answering any questions you need thanks again guys for watching we'll see you on the next video